Hi guys, this is Haunted School and welcome back to another video on my channel. And in today's video, this is honestly one of my favourite ones I love to do every year. And this is my predictions for the Rangers Halloween 2023 selection. I know a lot of you guys um, look forward to this video every year, so I'm just going to keep carrying on doing it. Because it always brings up the hype um, for when they end up getting the stuff in the next couple of months. If not weeks, because they uh, put a teaser on their social medias a couple of days ago. Um, teasing that they're going to be revealing their autumn lineup soon, so possibly Halloween next. Who knows? And a quick disclaimer on this video, um, none of these items are confirmed to come to the range. The reason I do these videos is because the range usually um, import from a company called Sunstar and um, they have already released their Halloween items and I have taken a deep look into the new items released for this year and picked out all of the ones that I think will be coming to stores in the UK this year. So once again, um, none of these are confirmed, um, these are just like very likely items. In this video I'm going to work from smallest to biggest props, so you'll see the tabletops first, so let's proceed with that. To start the section off, here are some of the tabletop props that I think are possible. Um, as you know, tabletop props are always um, ones that are sold at a great price point and um, always great for if you're not looking to get a life size or anything big like that. Um, so the first ones are this little uh, jack in the box and this uh, skeleton girl doll type thing, as you can see. Um, and then this next video is a video of um, the jack in the box work, you know, at least something sim one that looks similar to that. Um, we also got this roaming doll prop, which looks um, like it's um, one that a range would sell because they're quite into selling uh, doll, uh, animated doll items such as the three foot ones we've seen last year. I also think it's possible that we'll see the strobing hand in a coffin. I also I do think this is quite effective and um, one of the items that look to be possible that they would sell. And finally, the this little uh, tricycle doll as well, which um, I'd quite like to see as we don't really uh, see much of these little ro roaming items either. I can probably imagine some of these being around the £10, £15, £20 price point if they were at the range. Um, but yeah, with that said, that is my predictions on the tabletop props. Let's go to Groundbreakers. Personally, my favourite set of items the range always release every year. If you've been watching my channel for a long time, you'll know that. Um, the Groundbreakers are, are just awesome that the range released. Like, who doesn't need another zombie torso to come out of the ground when it's in your graveyard or once or whatever? Um, but yeah, here are a few of my predictions for what we can see. Um, first off, um, it, the Pumpkin Groundbreaker. It looks like for this year they're doing a new rendition of that where it actually pops out of the ground. Kind of like the head ripping one from a couple of years ago. Um, there's this mummy groundbreak, which I think I predicted last year, but it, it looks amazing and I would not mind seeing that at all. On to the next is this werewolf groundbreak, which absolutely looks awesome. I, I'd lo absolutely love to see this at the range. I love the, the green glowing eyes and also its stance with the legs and the hands. This thing looks awesome and I'd love to see it. It'd be, it'd be my number one purchase if that was out of any, uh, any of them on this list. <laughs> As I can just see it going great with the Costco Werewolf, that's been in my collection for quite some time. Then you've also got this Groundbreaker uh, Bride, which is um, very different to what, we, um, what we've what we currently got over the past few years. Um, you can probably also expect the Groundbreaker Gnome to come back as well, because that was a very popular one last year. And the last one is this, um, it's not Groundbreaker, but I'll include it in that category anyway. Is this Crawling Spider, which I think is something the range is, is desperately in need of selling. As they haven't really done any large spider props, or at least for a long time anyway. And as you know, Groundbreakers usually are around the 35 to £40 pound price point, depending on the size of them. So, uh, yeah, let's go. Let's get on to medium props and uh, large hanging props. On to large hanging props then. I think this is a, a category that the range absolutely knocked out of the park with last year, because... They have the LCD Eyes Reaper, that Hanging Clown, and generally um, just a lot of uh, Hanging Clown props, such as the little uh, creature one uh, that I reviewed on my channel last year. I really enjoyed them, and I can't wait to see what they have this year. So the first ones then are these uh, Light Up Reapers, pretty much. Um, the one on the left appears to have the same effect as the Light Up Mummy that they've had over the last couple of years, which is cool. The next, one of the, the next ones are these Hanging Zombies. This cut one that's kind of hanging from one arm, which has a similar face to the Groundbreaker one. And then you got this life-size one, which honestly looks really great in my opinion. 
Next prop then is this hanging girl on swing, which kind of like shakes, her eyes light up. And um, yeah, I don't think we see much swinging props before, so this would be a good opportunity. And here we got this animated zombie. Um, which uh, kind of just um, moves his head and arms and groans and everything. Um, that one's quite nice as well. Um, we also got this hanging, shaking prisoner, which would also be a nice addition. The last uh, ones I'm going to mention are these, are these two. Um, that I kind of touched on last year of using projections or LCD screens. Like you can see this one here, this one's got a projected face. Um, it's got, got like a ghost face on there. And this other one um, has LCD eyes right here which I really love the Reaper that they did last year and I hope they continue doing the LCD eyes thing because it is really popular. And usually these LCD eyes ones are the most expensive of the hanging items. Um, the Reaper was £35 last year, which I think the price was a bit steep. I think it could have been knocked down to 30 um, and 25 in sales maybe, but yeah. Finally, on to life sizes. Probably the most anticipated items that the range do push out every year um, because they're at such reasonable prices and of course, the life size props. Full size, you know. So, um, yeah. Last year was a very good very good run for life sizes, I thought. Um, we, we had quite a few good ones, such as the Scarecrow, which was honestly amazing at the £45 price point. Believe it or not, it was one of my favourite props that I used in my, my outdoor haunt last year because it looks so good, honestly looks so good in every picture I took of it with its detail and the light up eyes. Just look at it in the shot right here. And we also have a Clown, which was a bit overpriced, I thought, at £60. And also, and also the, the seven foot witch, which um, she was amazing. And I really wouldn't mind that witch coming back this year out of all the ones that I uh, do, do choose that are new in this video. Um, but yeah. But in terms of new items, I might as well start off with the witch that I think might be this year's witch. Um, this one basically looks to be a rehash of the Swamp Hag from 2019, if I'm correct. Um, I really like the look of this one, actually, um, with all the, de the decor on the, the clothing, like a detailed face. She even has a broom, um, which I don't think a witch has had for a while from the range. But yeah, this one looks really good. She's got hair as well, which is quite nice. And this next one, if we're going to have a clown, I think this one would be the perfect one to have for the range. It is this waving clown. I really love the look of this one. I know the, the gimmick of it kind of looks a bit cheesy um, in, some, in certain aspects, but I think that this, that one would sell really well at range. It doesn't look too terrifying. It's kind of got a family-friendly family friendly vibes around, around the face. I think that one would just be great if it was um, around the £45, £50 price point. I think it's simple but effective. It's one of those you can just have at, the, at your door and uh, to greet guests to make their way into your haunt. There is also this life-size creepy doctor or surgeon, as that might fit in better. Um, yeah, again, this one's a great looking item. Um, I think it uses the face of the headless butler we had a couple of years ago. Um, but I think that's a great themed item and it'll go great in some sort of mad scientist theme or, um, a cat, or even a chop shop theme that would look great in. There's also this Reaper, which um, kind of has a head that's out of proportion, but for some reason it looks great with that green light flashing on its face. So I think this would be um, quite possible as well. And last but not least, an actual good fortune teller standing prop. Um, we honestly need something like this this year. We haven't had a decent fortune teller prop since 2019 when we have a little fortune teller box, which was the best prop of that year in my opinion. Um, it'd be awesome to see this uh, little fortune teller. She even she even comes with her own booth. She only looks like a four foot prop. She's not. She's nowhere near the size of the other um, like main life sizes you get. The range. I think she'd still sell really well because um, what she, what you get with her makes up for that. And everyone loves fortune tellers at the end of the day. So there you go then, that wraps up my predictions for the Rangers Halloween 2023 lineup. Um, yet again, as I said at the start of the video, take this, this with a grain of salt. Um, these are just my, my thoughts on what I think are coming. And I'd also like to hear what you think would be coming in the comments below. Um, this, this doesn't mean that we won't be getting some uh, certain types of items such as inflatables or three foot props. Because um, there's no doubt in my mind we will get them in some way, shape or form. Um, but yeah, there you go. Thanks for watching this video. Hope you give it, um, give it a like if you enjoyed, and uh, leave us a comment and subscribe. And until the next video, this is your guide for all things spooky.